Hey everyone and welcome. In today's video I wanted to show you a really cool, easy, fun way to visualize transactions on the blockchain using TransactionStreet.com. Now I literally just found this about an hour ago and I just had to make a video to share it because it is a really cool way of visualizing transactions and what it does is it allows you to compare Ethereum, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash. So what you'll notice is it's basically a bus station and each bus represents a block that's going to be included on the blockchain. Each person represents a transaction that is going to be sent to the blockchain. You'll notice that some people are moving faster than others and some people are bigger than others. The people that are moving faster are transactions that are paying a higher fee. So a faster moving person equals a higher fee. Uh, a bigger person represents a transaction that's larger in size. So the first thing that you'll notice is that it kind of has these little flashing uh, boards up here that are telling you what's going on. So Bitcoin Cash has about 915 pending. Ethereum has about 75,000 pending. It will show you some of the thing like the last block. It will also show you um, sometimes the median fees and stuff like that. So it does provide some detail, but the, the best part about it is kind of the graphic that it actually shows transactions getting included in blocks. So one thing that you'll notice is that with Bitcoin Cash, basically everyone that's wanting to get on the bus or every transaction that's wanting to be on the blockchain is going to be included in that next bus that leaves the station. Whereas with Ethereum, we see that it is pretty backed up. Now, some people are still getting on the buses, they're still going, but there's a lot of pending transactions. One thing I do want to mention, um, Bitcoin Cash, it's showing that there's 981 pending transactions. That is not transactions that want to be included in a block but are unable to do so. So Ethereum, when we look at those 75,000 pending, that's literally 75,000 that want to be on the next block but that are not going to be included. Whereas with Bitcoin Cash, those transactions, as you can see from everyone getting on the bus, they're all going to be included in the next block. It's just that Bitcoin Cash has a longer block time, so they're having to wait for that 10 minute block time. So if I was to keep doing this video for 10 minutes straight and this bus leaves, what you would see is that those pending transactions would drop down. So a cool way, if you wanna look a little more into detail, you can click stats on both of these and it'll show you transactions per second for Ethereum is 13.56. Um, pending transactions, 75,000. Average fee, $6.66. Bitcoin Cash, we have about 1.7 transactions per second. We have 1,000 pending. We have a median fee of about a tenth of a cent. So that's really cool. You can go into depth if you want to. You can also go more into depth on the specific transactions. So I could go over here and see transactions that were coming from Maker. I could see transactions that were coming from Memo Cash, right? So there's a lot of detail um, if you want to get into the detail, but if you don't want all the detail, you can kind of just look at it at that high level approach. So what we are going to do is just while we're here on kind of the the sake of completeness, we're going to go ahead and compare Bitcoin Cash to Bitcoin. And I want to make this clear, this is not trashing one chain or one coin over another. It's really just demonstration purposes and kind of illustrating some of the differences between um, the three of the very common and very often used blockchains. So Bitcoin Cash, again, we can see everyone wanting to get on the bus, every transaction that wants to be included in the next block is going to be able to do so. Bitcoin, um, there's even more of a standstill than there was with Ethereum. People are kind of just stuck in line. There's really no movement going on at all. And some people are getting kicked out of the bus and more people are coming on. So what you're seeing basically is that transactions that were maybe going to get approved are actually getting pushed back to other blocks there. So um, again, the cool thing with Bitcoin Cash is, yes, it does have a 10 minute block time, but basically everyone that wants to be included in that block is going to be able to do so. Whereas Bitcoin and Ethereum both, there's a lot of backlog, there's a lot of transactions that even though Ethereum might have a 15 second block time, there's no guarantee that you're going to be included in that next block. So overall, it's, you know, it's an easy, fun tool. It's something that I wanted to share. And, you know, even as someone that does a lot with cryptocurrency, I found it very helpful for visualizing uh, these differences between the types of blockchain. So if you are learning about blockchain or you know someone that's learning about blockchain and you kind of want a great visual tool to help describe it, I would definitely recommend checking out transactionstreet.com. Hopefully at some point I'd like to see um, some more blockchains added. That would be really cool. Maybe um, 
maybe some other blockchains such as Hive or something like that. But I mean, even as it is, it's a it's a great tool. I really enjoy it. I hope you all found the video useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.